Good day. I'm Dr. Marie from the Residential Clinic. Congratulations. It's positive. You're having a baby. Hi, I'm Meg. I'm 21. And at my age, maybe you're thinking, why is she crying like a baby? Well, sometimes it really feels like the whole world is against you. And right now, I think my world is literally <coughs> endless. Mother, child. Thanks to my parents, by the time I was eight, the sight of a chair being hurled across the room was no longer a cause for alarm. Maybe there's something to be said for a lousy home life? Your mom says my emotional range is limited to rage, guilt, and occasional hilarity. He neglected to mention blankness. There are times when I just don't feel anything. He also claims he can read my thoughts by looking at me. He says I'm transparent. I hope so. It's embarrassing to tell somebody there's a 50% chance that he may be a father in several months. Nothing. Good morning, sweetie. She had this sort of knowing smile, Mrs. Santos. I think she knows. How's the baby? And I'm not being paranoid. Neighbors know everything about you. And actually, if you let them, they'll take over your life. Do you want to buy a watch? I was thinking maybe you... Uh, no. Actually, I still have mine. Sorry. Oh, of course. Bye, Mrs. Santos. I feel sorry for her having to sell those watches.
I just remembered how I really hate my school. I look so stupid in my uniform on my first day at school. The Academy of Our Lady's Seven Sorrows. In my school, skirts had to cover the entire knee area. If your knees were exposed, the nuns would give you a lecture on modesty. What's your name, Iha? Uh, Meg Makaraig. Um, Miss Makaraig, are you aware of the policy implemented in this school? Yes, sister. Then, why is your skirt very short? I am aware, except for this. Hmm, where are your parents? My mother's always home. Um, my father's not here anymore. Would you tell my mother about this? Hmm, we'll see. Anyways, um, do you always read the Bible, Miss Makaraig? Yes, sister. Actually, no. Um, then, do you know the verse in Timothy um, that said, uh, Women should uh, adorn themselves modestly and appropriately and sensibly in seemly apparel, not with elaborate hair arrangement or gold or pearls or ex expensive clothing. Um, do you know that what that means? This is um, that means that um, us women um, should be, uh, be modest. Since we are a creation of God, we are created from God's image. What are you doing? Don't you understand? The end is near! You! We don't have much time! It's happening! It's all happening! And it's happening with the volcanoes erupting in Hawaii! All of the ash! The plumes! The volcanic rivers flowing! There shall be signs in the sun! And the moon! And then the stars! And the stress of nations with perplexity. The sea, the waves roaring. The end is near. The end is near. Why don't you all understand? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Why do you think I am? I'm not. Yes, hi, this is Wilma speaking. Oh, please, I don't need your excuses. I've been calling the whole fucking... What? More time? More time? Seriously? That's like six months ago, asshole. You know what? I don't care if you don't have your fucking money with you, you understand? Hey, Meg. You read about the earthquakes. Earthquakes? It's exactly as what Nostradamus said. He even predicted that the earthquakes would be the signal to the end of the world. And we had that big one, yeah. That big one last month. Listen, if you still can't pay me by the end of the week, I'll make sure to destroy peace by peace. Then, a leader from the Middle East would launch a world war. I thought it would be Gaddafi. But no, it was Saddam Hussein. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey! You just... Hell. Yeah, she's been like that ever since. Yeah, you know her, acting like a menopause. Anyways, my aunt 
saw this vision in Taal. Something like a horseman in the sky. A what? A man on a horse. A horseman riding across the sky. They say that a hundred school children saw it. My aunt even said that the man looks like St. Martin. Are you sure it's St. Martin? Maybe it's St. George or Joan of Arc. I don't remember St. Martin riding a horse. Idiot. I'm talking about St. Martin of Tours, you know. Not St. Martin de Porres like what you're thinking. What's the difference between the two? Anyways, this is not the first time my aunt saw this vision. They first saw it just before the World War II. Then the war happened. Am I right? No. The Japanese arrived. What's the difference between the two? They're practically the same. Oh my god. What if it is really the end of the world? What am I gonna do? I still haven't thought well about my future. I don't even have a kid yet. <laughs> Maybe I should ask Wilma for her abortionist. She'd give me the address for sure, even accompany me to the place. Well, my head, nothing. I had four. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> she wore her brazen honesty like a soiled and rusty halo. I remember the first time I saw Wilma crying. She said she'd regretted her last abortion. It was a girl. She's always wanted a baby girl. She put the fetus in a jar of formalin and kept it in her drawer. The others should flash down the toilet. I figured she doesn't want to talk about okay, it. Okay, you know what? Just forget about it. It's fine. I mean, I think it should be fine.
Lawrence eats his lunch the way he lives his life, very carefully, as if he would choke on it. It's going to be bad. By the end of the next year, the official exchange rate of peso to dollar will be 28. And it's not even considering earthquake damages and oil price hikes. The inflation will go through the roof. I wonder if Lawrence was sleeping with someone else. One of the girls from his office, someone tall who worked in PR, shop in Hong Kong, and wore linen suit with tiny skirts. But I think he wasn't. I had no illusions about his undying love and fidelity, but I trusted his fear of feelings. Am I boring you? Sorry. I know we haven't seen each other much lately. It's been hell at the office. The head, the guy from the head office, feels like a major asshole. He often catches people around lazing. Mr. Fowler. Mr. Alvarado. I think you're the asshole. So, how is the beach? It's fine. Well then, enjoy your meal. from the main office? The one you're talking about? Might hear you. Let him! Lawrence had a very definite concept of mine. For instance, all his books were stamped Private Library of Lawrence R. Alvarado. The strange thing was, he didn't even read his books. They were lined up according to height in his antique bookshelf, neatly covered in plastic. One time, I took a book out of the shelf. And it had been there unopened for so long, the pages stuck together. Anyway, where were we? You mean until your boss came along? What's the matter with you? Fanny should use the exact same words when we first met. Now? Because I'm having a lunch with a friend. Oh, okay. I'm going now. You know what? It's been nice meeting you today. I think I had a really great time. Maybe. Oh my god. Did I just break up with him? I made a mental list of the reasons for and against having this baby. This child would be mine, really truly mine, and maybe it will turn to be a genius who will invent something revolutionary like um, a device that will cause world leaders to self-destruct if they got the urge to wage war. But I'm not sure if I'd be such a hot parent. I have serious deficiencies in the responsibility department. My mother would freak out if she knows I have a baby. Speaking of my mother, she is currently at California running a Filipino restaurant. Oh, thank you. She is always going on about the decline of traditional Filipino values. I can just see her talking to my dad 
blaming him for dying young and leaving her to raise his daughter to adulthood. The lack of a husband, the resulting social stigma, and if not that, my own paranoia. I would drive myself crazy wondering if someone will cast stones at me. Ow! Strong 7.5 magnitude quake to strike Metro Manila. Residents living in the vicinity are mandated to evacuate as soon as they can to prevent massive amount of casualties. What's going on? Repeat, There's going to be a bigger quake at 6.30. Stay home. Please stay home. It was on the radio. Stay home. 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 I'm not going to fall for a stupid prank. This building could collapse. Like here, terraces. You can't predict an earthquake exactly. What if there's one? Be reasonable. It's a prank. I'm not living. They're closing the building. Everyone's getting out. Do you want to get locked in? Hello? Hi. How did you know I was home? You're always home on Sunday. It's Monday. Oh, are you going out tonight? Can I come over? Okay. I'm sure you understand why this needs to remain classified. I'm sorry.
stayed up filling out the forms from the ground. I had a weird day. Why? What happened? There's this man in front of the church I always pass by. He looks like one of the beggars you see on the streets. Then? This man suddenly grabbed me and told me some strange message I don't even understand. Maybe it was an obscene proposal. Or maybe he was speaking our mind. Repent or else. My office mate says the world is ending. Maybe. Doesn't it worry you? It's not like I can do anything about it. If it's you, what's scary is being the last person on earth. Everyone else is dead, and you wander around the robot and slowly realize you're alone. God, what would I do? Keep looking for another survivor. Try to go crazy. We're being morbid tonight. I can't help it. All this talk about war and the world ending. You want some coffee? Yes, please. What's wrong? Nothing. Can I talk to you about something? Uh, wait. I need to go to the restroom. I don't feel good. I want to be alone. Are you sure? I need to think. Please leave me alone. What happened? I Seriously? said leave me alone. If that's what you want, then fine. Maybe Pachala and his aunt were right. The world was coming to an end. What a lousy time it was to be born. With madmen waiting to gas you or blow you away. And the earth opening up to swallow you. And with everything going against you, you didn't need your own mother plotting to get rid of you. this. I hate my mom. I hate myself. I hate my life. What am I doing with my life?
really care about that. Well, who cares if this is the end, right? Do you remember the time when I told you that I really wanted a baby girl? I almost had one. Again. Fate really finds a way to cheat us. It's amazing how fucking unfair life is. Do you ever regret your decision? No, of course not. It's not going to do anything aside from making you feel bad about yourself. But you don't seem bad. Regretting won't do anything. as much courage as you do. You are strong, Meg. The moment that you stop to think twice about your decision, you prove yourself to be someone strong. Wow, I never thought those words would come from you. That's nothing. It's just weird to see someone crying in the middle of the night. <laughs> you realize how important some things are. They drift away one by one. Just when you thought everything would be okay. Please God, I hope that everything would be alright. My mom, Pocholo, Wilma, Lawrence, Ramon, my baby.